The next time you need a haircut, think of the barber shop with a grand tradition. Williams Barber Shop. Williams Barber Shop, proud to serve the entire community of Ufall. Come by to our new location, new facilities and see what it's like to be treated in style at Williams Barbershop in the old J.C. Penney catalog store. There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services. Owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith, Licensed Funeral Director. For the next 30 minutes, you'll be listening to the most powerful one-half hour of ministry that you will hear all week long. The man of God encouraging you to go to church. Uh, for the next 30 minutes, the voice that you will hear will be the voice of Dr. L.C. Green. Hear ye, hear ye, Dr. L.C. Green. Good morning, Dr. Willie. Man, you sounded mighty strong this morning. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. You got your brace on. You got your wheelchair. God bless you, man. Yes, You're a testimony yes. of what God can do. Yes, yes. And we, we, I, 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 I'm, so, I'm so happy that God is still a prayer answering God. Yes, he is. And uh, we got a testimony to that fact. I, I want to start off this program by giving our our love and our condolence to Detective Sergeant uh, Donald Brown uh, on the loss of his mother. So him and the whole family, you're in our prayers, Detective Sergeant Donald Brown of the you follow Police Department. <coughs> God bless you, my brother, you and your family. <coughs> Y'all in our prayers. As always, you're in, you're, in our, you're in our prayers. You're in our prayers. Also, let's, before we do our opening prayer, let's, let's go ahead on and send out our condolences to the Markey family, uh, Reverend Terry Lewis Markey was uh, funeralized yesterday at the New Bethel Missionary Baptist Church in Louisville, Alabama. Uh, Central Funeral Home uh, was in charge. We also want to send out our condolence to the Pryor family, also the, uh, from Clio, St. Peter AME Church. Yesterday, the service uh, Central Funeral Home was in charge, and you know, we also want to send out our condolence to the Kelly family, Sister Cynthia Kelly. Uh, that service is pending over at Central, and we will and we will give you more information. So let's pray this morning, keeping those, keeping those names in mind, keeping all those names in mind. And there are others, there are others, but these are the ones that, that we know about. We know about the two of Central Funeral Home yesterday. We know about those two, uh, Marky and, and, and Pryor. We know about those two. And we know about Detective Sergeant Donna Brown's mother, so our prayers this morning is for those families as we continue to pray. Not only this morning do we pray for you, but we pray for you on a regular, regular basis for each and every member of the family that we pray God's speed on you. We pray God's blessing on you. But most of all, we ask that God will give you the strength to get through what you're going through. It's not an easy task what you're going through, but hear me when I tell you that God is able to bring you through. God is able to bring you through, and he will bring you through. Let's pray. Father God, we come now on behalf of the names that were called. You know the families before we even call their names. You know who they are, and you know where they are. And you're the kind of God that will provide comfort. You're the kind of God that's able to mend broken hearts. So we just present those families to you. We just present those families to you and ask that you would, my dear God, that you would continue uh, to be God and continue to bless these families and let them know that there's nothing too hard for God. And it may, it may seem hard to them, and it is hard for them at this moment, 
But that was a song that was played a while ago, and after the song it said, turn it over to Jesus. And that's what we ask these families to do this morning, turn it over to Him, because He's able. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. So on behalf of the Central Funeral Home, for first we want to say good morning to everybody, and we want to say to all of you out who are listening, we want to say good morning on behalf of the Central Funeral Home and and, and uh, Williams, Williams Barbershop, Brother Jimmy Williams would have me to tell you every chance I get to tell you good morning, let you know that he is uh, willing and able to. You know, I talked to, I talked to Jimmy Williams the other day, Dr. Woodley. Mm -hmm. You know, all them designs and stuff people put in their hair? Right. They can do that at the barbershop up there. Oh, I, I know they can they, do it. They can do it, yeah. They can, put, they can put letters and mm -hmm. messages in your head and stuff like that. I, <laughs> I said, well, that's all right. But let, 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 let's talk about this. Let's talk about the benefit. We 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 making some good progress, Brother Whitley, on the benefit mm -hmm. on September the 28th. We making good progress, and I understand now. I understand that one of <clears throat> one of the groups would be uh, Dr. Charles Davis and the Clouds. Amen. I understand that we are trying to we're trying to get him. We yeah. already got him. We got we already got it. Yes. All right. We got we got we got Brother Charles Davis. Now we still need some sponsors. Now let me say this to you, Dr. Whitley. Uh, so far as sponsorship is concerned, the funeral homes are coming through for us. All right. Yes, sir. Central Central Funeral Home has already has already sponsored one of the things that we need on this on, on, on the paper that I got. Mm -hmm. And uh, I talked to Brother Woody and and, and Sanford and Son going to do something. Okay. I have not got to Brother Franklin yet, but I know I know him, mm -hmm. and knowing him, he's going to do something. Right. So I can I can assure you that the funeral homes are coming through. Amen. And and for those of you who are listening, I wonder. We, we had we had a call this morning. We had a call this morning, mm -hmm. uh, uh, offering a uh, hundred dollar sponsorship. Yeah, you know, uh, God knows you, we, you know, and she don't like for us to call her name. But, but, uh, <laughs> I'm so tempted, but I may do that later. But we thank you. We thank you. you know who you are, man. We we are still looking for sponsors, and this is this is what this is what uh, I want to tell you. Those of you who are listening for the first time, or you listened last week, and, and I want to thank my listeners, but, but Mr. Willie, we got some very loyal listeners yes, out here. We got some very loyal listeners, and I thank you, and I thank you for your kind, encouraging words. But now, that's going to be a benefit for, for, for Mr. Whitley on the 28th of September. Mm -hmm. The 28th of September, that's going to be a benefit for, for Mr. Whitley, and what we're going to ask you to do is once you get there, we're going to ask you for a $12 donation at the door. But what I want to do, I want to get us some sponsors. That there, there, there are some bills mm -hmm. that has to be paid, and I don't want Dr. Woodley to have to take that out of his money. I, we, 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 I, I, I talked to a man last week that had a benefit, and I thought he made a whole bunch of money in his benefit. <laughs> Come to find out, Dr. Woodley, he ain't made nothing. Amen. Made less than a thousand dollars. Amen. You uh, know, we we don't want that. We don't we don't want that for you. We mm -hmm. we want we want to. We all we all we all we all. I, I'm gonna go just go back on the number of calls I had. Mm -hmm. People concerned if, if 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 everybody that called and was concerned about Mr. Woodley and you stopped me wherever you saw me and asked me about Mr. If all of y'all would make a donation, we could take care of these. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Let, let, let's let, let, let's say like the old folks. Let's put our money where our mouth is. <laughs> we we got some things that we need to that we need to take care of. I don't, I don't want Mr. Woodley. We got over a thousand dollar worth of sponsorship that we need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, if you take a thousand dollars away from what he needs, then then we're not helping him very much. So what I want us to do, and we're making good progress. We we want to we want to get everything sponsored that needs to be sponsored. And if you see if you if you're interested in sponsoring something, you can call the station here. You can call the station, or you can call me. Uh, let me give you my cell number. I'm gonna give you a chance to write my cell number. Give me the number here at the station first, Mr. Whitley. It's uh, two, three, three, four. Three, three, four. Two, three, two. Two, three, two. Forty-five, thirty-two. Forty-five, thirty-two. Now listen. Any time before nine, a, before nine a.m. After nine a.m., then then you need to you need to call me uh, if you want to if you want to be a sponsor. There's nothing too small, and there's de definitely nothing too large. Now, my, my, my cell number is every code, 
one zero zero eight. Now this is this, this you call these two numbers if you want to be a sponsor. The benefit is September the twenty eighth. I would like to go on and somebody asked me, say when you want your I want it now. Whatever you want to do, let's do it now. I don't like to wait till the last minute because the last minute things have changed and you say, Well I was gonna do it but this happened. So let's go on and do it now. Let's go on and do it now. Let's go on we we we, 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 we. fly shall be coming soon. Uh, to give you more information uh, about the benefit, uh, but let's let's go on and do that. And I'm gonna give you the radio station number one more time. And Mr. Dave Henderson is here from five to nine every Monday through Friday. Right. Monday through Friday, you can call this number Monday through Friday, uh, or you can stop by the station. The station is right next to Sonic, right next to Sonic Drive-In, right here in this little mall area with the last building on the right when we pass the beauty shop and all that other stuff that's up in here. What's, it up? What's up in here? Uh, uh, Bobby shop, we got a barber shop up in here. But anyway, if you get the Sonic and you see and you see that, that but this, they call this the strip mall. We're next to Dexter's, uh, Dexter's. Uh, Quick Weave. All right, all right, we're next to Dexter's Quick Weave. It's been uh, looking at the traffic. A lot of folks know where Dexter's is. <laughs> so you can drop by, you can drop by the station and I guarantee you anything you drop by, uh, Mr. Dave Henry would be glad to take it and he'll put it over here on the sponsorship of Dave Whitley. You can call the station at 334-232-4532 or you can call me. I'm L.C. Green. You can call me at every code 251-753-1008 or you can come by the bread basket. You can come by the bread basket and if I'm not at the bread basket, you can drop off, you can drop off your, uh, your donation or at the bread basket and, and they, Tony and folks at the bread basket would give it to me. They'll be glad to give it. They'll be glad to to give it to me. So you can drop it off there. I want to talk to you about a couple of things, but I want to I want to tell you about my friend Pastor Joe Glover is having their love day today. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mount Lever having theirs next Sunday. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, today, uh, <clears throat> what is that? Friendship? No, no, no. Thankful. Thankful. Mm -hmm. Thankful, Joe Glover is that thankful. Right, right. Yeah, thankful is having theirs today, and theirs going to be at 2 o'clock. It's their love day, their annual love day, and they want they want everybody to come by at 2 o'clock, and Richard Thornton is going to be their guest. Mr. Thornton is going to be the guest up there for, for their love day. Richard Thornton is going to be their guest uh, for the love day today. Now, that's a thankful Baptist church today. With uh, I'll tell you more about it, hopefully, before I get off there, Joe Glover. Joe Glover is the pastor over there. Y'all know Pastor Glover. Y'all go by there and say hello to him this afternoon. And and next Sunday, that's next Sunday, yeah, the 24th, uh, Pastor Willis from Trinity up in Morris, Georgia is going to be at Mount Level. And Mount Level going to have their love day. They're going to have their love day and they're going to honor, they're going to honor Fraser, Pastor Fraser Jones and First Lady Betty Jones. Well, no. they, yeah, they're going to honor them. And matter of fact, they're going to dedicate uh, a building in his honor. And they're in, a honor, in his honor, they're going to dedicate a building. That's next, that's next Sunday. And hopefully before I leave there, I can tell you again about those two things. One is this afternoon at 2 o'clock and one is next Sunday at 2 o'clock. But both of them is love days. There's a lot of love going around. So we got two love days, one today and one next Sunday. One is at Thankful and one is at Mount Level. And uh, they want me to let you know that they would love to see you see you there. Uh, they'd love to see you there. Now let me let me tell you uh, what's going on here in Ufala. What's going on here in Ufala, and I think there's somebody we need to we need to we need we need to say this we need to say this and you know you know how folks talk you know how folks talk but I want to say that Mr. Cobb Mr. Cobb uh, showed us Monday night that 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 he's not controlled by nobody you know sometimes when we get to talking now when we get to talking we'll say that he's controlled by by so and so and so and so and he proved to us because I tell you what Mr. Cobb did Mr. Cobb voted the way he said he was going to vote from the start. He said from the start uh, how he was going to vote on this on his entertainment district and when it came up Monday night Mr. Carr voted the way he said he was going to vote and he voted no. He voted the way he said he was going to vote from from day one. Mr. Carr said he wasn't supporting it and he didn't and we've seen in the paper, we've seen in the paper what uh, 
what our, our count, uh, councilman Knight said, why he voted the way he voted. Uh, he put he put his in the paper, so he spoke for himself, and he said uh, what he did. And we also, and I were talking, and I were talking. Uh, Mr. Mr. Knight let us know that it's going to be a 90-day trial, and if, if if this thing don't work, if this thing don't work, then they can shut it down. And what I'm interested in, what I'm interested in. Mr. Knight and to all of those who support this entertainment district, I mean, I'm, I'm interested in how it's gonna, how the city gonna make any money. Uh, I, I can see the private businesses making money, and I like to know, you know, they say it's gonna be an economical boost for for the city of Eufaula, and I, I pray God that it does. I just want to see how how it's gonna do. Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning, Marcus. Marcus out there. Good morning, Brother Woodley. Woody. Woody. What is listening this morning? I want to say good morning to it. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see how 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 it's going to be an economical boost. God knows we need one. We need an economical boost here in our great city. And I, I'm I'm very interested to see how it's going to be a, a boost. And I'm interested to see if they give us maybe a quarterly report on how how they're doing. So that's behind us now. That's behind us now. That. That that is done again. We we, we take our hat off. Uh, uh, we take our hat off to to both of our uh, both of our uh, both of our uh, city council persons. Uh, they 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 prove to us that they are not controlled. That they are not controlled. They don't control each other. Uh, nobody control them. So we can we can we can rest on that one. We can start another a conversation. We don't have to say that no more. And, and, so, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to I'm gonna let me those of you that got your Bibles I want you to go to the 18th chapter of Matthew because we're gonna talk about that uh, before I get off the air uh, the 18th chapter of Matthew verses two to four we're gonna talk about that before I get off the air I, want, I just want to cover a few things uh, and I just want to whet your appetite for Matthew make uh, for you can go to church I'm gonna just just whet your appetite that you might want to go to church. Uh, the governor was in town on Friday at around noon. The governor was in town here in the city of Eufaula. The governor was here. The governor was here. And I, I, the, only, the only disappointing thing that I had, and, 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 and none of our, none of our uh, elected city officials was there. Now Bob Power was there and Jason Bennett was there. But, I, I, but anyway, I want, I want to say good morning to Dr. Bush, the pastor over at First Baptist Church. Uh, uh, he's, he's a listener and a supporter of mine, and I did not know that and, until Monday night. And I want to say to you, uh, Dr. Bush was at the council meeting Monday night, and I had a chance to talk to him. And so good morning to you, Dr. Bush, and to all of your family. Uh, your son is the one who keep me in such good health, keep me looking so well. Uh, so, but I want to say good morning to you, my dear brother, and I want to say that I, I enjoy talking to you, and I will follow up on the conversation that we, that we had, uh, Dr. Bush. That I was so glad to see Dr. Bush over at the uh, city council mission meeting. Dr. Bush, the pastor of First Baptist Church here in downtown, downtown, uh, you follow. We were so glad to, uh, we we're so glad to see him. My, my brothers and sisters, it's very, very important that not only do we register to vote, but that we vote. It's very important. I cannot emphasize enough to you how important it is to vote. And if you're looking at TV, if you're watching the news, and you see people who are not being represented or uh, represented correctly or uh, the way they think they ought to be, you see the kind of problems that it's caused. And that's because of, of, of the like of people going out and voting. We we need to vote. We got an election coming up. Uh, we got an election coming up in November, uh, and we got we got a big election coming up in two more years. But now is the time to start preparing for your election. Uh, two years seem like a long time, but trust me, two years will be here <clears throat> before you know it. So I, I suggest that we go on right now and get get our candidates in order and go on out there and start start working for for the candidates now. I, I, I just believe in that. I don't I don't believe in waiting till the last minute. And again, Detective Sergeant Donald Brown, my friend, you are 
you are in my prayers, you and your family, you are in my prayers. Uh, years ago, years ago, I, I lost my mother as a young teenager, I lost my mother, but I still feel, I still feel that pain, and I still feel, I still feel that pain, and I was a, a, a teenager when my mother died, and I still feel that, I still feel that. So I can I can almost imagine I, I don't know I'm never gonna say I know what you're going through, but I can say my dear brother you are in my prayers you and your family in my prayers I can only I can only imagine what what it must what it must be like what I can only imagine what the pain must be like so so Detective Sergeant Donald Brown your mother got a chance to see you see you get promoted so that, that that's that's one of the incidents that you can that you can keep in mind and. I saw it. She was right there, sitting in the almost front row, and you helped her in the car. I remember when she got ready to leave, I was getting ready to try to help them in the car. And they said, we waiting on Donald. We waiting on <laughs> said, we waiting on Donald. God bless you. God bless you, my dear brother. And she's she's, she's going to be waiting on all of us now. She's going to be waiting on all of us now. She's already gone. She's going to be waiting on her sister Hollins, sister Evelyn Hollins, and I want to say good morning to you, my dear sister, and uh, I have not visited you in a while, but you're in my prayers. Please, please believe me, you're in my prayers. My wife gave me an update on you, and God knows, sister person. Uh, I'm not sure you're still in Birmingham or you're back now, but either way, we want to say good morning to you. We want to say, we want to say good morning to you and say God bless you also. Chuck the Gospel Man, uh, I'm going to be calling you, my dear brother. I'm gonna be calling you one day next week. I'm gonna to talk to you uh, about what you about what you want to do. I'm gonna to talk to you about what it is that you that you want to do. Those of you that got your Bibles, let's let's look at Matthew's the Gospel of Matthew, the 18th chapter and verses two to four. And I think it's very important. Now, now listen to me, my brothers and sisters. Listen to me very carefully. I'm going to tell you, as I tell you every Sunday, it's very important that you go to church. It's very important that you go to church. I just try to whet your appetite. Dr. Ware comes behind me. Dr. Apostle Godfrey comes behind him. And they give you some preaching. They give you some preaching. And when you hear that, that ought to inspire you to want to go to church. You ought to want to sit down under that and hear more of that. Hear more of that. Now listen, listen, uh, I think that the 18th chapter of Matthew, the verses 2 to 4, is some of the most misunderstood verses in the Bible. It's because the Bible does not tell us to become like children. It said become childlike, not childish. And I think that a lot of folks have trouble uh, separating childlike from childish, from childish. Uh, when you when you when you act childish, that's not what the Bible is saying. When you're pouting, when you're angry, when you're talking about folks, when you're doing this, when you're not speaking to folks, we got we got we got we got we got an elected official that is very childish, very childish because if somebody go against what he wants, he he won't even speak to folks. That's childish, my brothers and sisters. When you sit around and you're gossiping. That's childish. That's not what the Bible wants us to be. That's not what God wants. He said he wants us to become childlike and our attitude of obedience and our humbleness uh, and our dependence on him. That's, what, that's, what the, that's the example that Jesus gave. That's what he was talking about uh, when it comes to our dependence on him. You know how children depend on their parents? Well, Jesus said that we ought to depend on him like children have to depend on their parents. The way children have to depend on their parents. That's what he was talking about. He was talking about us becoming childlike. And he said, if we are going, if we are going to make it in heaven, then we must become childlike. We must have a childlike spirit. We must have a childlike attitude. And also we must have a childlike dependence on him. And children are obedient. Children are, are raised to be obedient. So when we become childlike, when we become childlike, not childish, but when we become childlike, then we are obedient to God's word. 
and you 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 know those parents know that when your children are obedient, not only do you reward them, but seem like your love for them just grows stronger and stronger. Don't you think that's how God sees us when we are? Because uh, He said it. He said, "You suffer these little children to come to Me," and He let them know. Because see, the disciples had been arguing about who was great and who was this. You know, a lot of times when, when you're a child, is you all you think about is you and what you're going to get out of it and what's your place and all this kind of stuff. You, you know, when you when you when you are when you are childish, when you are childish, you become selfish. You become selfish. Uh, you become envious. You you look at other folks and see what they got, and you you want what they got. When you become childish, you don't appreciate what you have. This is a beautiful day today. I don't care how hot it is. It's not raining today. But even if it was raining, even if it was raining, it would still be a beautiful day because we're yet alive. And as long as we're alive, we can declare that it's a beautiful day. But 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 too many times, my brothers and sisters, what we what we fail to do, because we are so childish, we fail to appreciate the things that is going on with us right now. And we're not our brother's keeper. And the simple reason why we're not our brother's keeper, we are too, too childish. So, so the scripture tells us to be childlike, not childish. And there's a great big difference between being childlike and being childish. And, and so our challenge today, our challenge today is to be humble as a little child. Our, our task today is to be as dependent on God as a little child, as dependent on their parents. I think all of us know, all of us know that we can't make it without God. We can try, we can try, but I don't care how much success you have. If God is not in it, then you, you, haven't, you haven't achieved anything. I don't care what are you doing. I don't care what you have. If God is not in what you have, then you have nothing. And that's what a child realized. A child realized, I got to go to mom and daddy for everything I need. I got to go to mom and daddy for everything. So I depend on them. I depend on them. And I tell you, you can depend on God because God will meet all your needs. God will do for you whatever need to be done. And when you surrender yourself to him, now listen to me very careful. You got to surrender yourself to him. You got to be obedient to him. Now don't take my word for it. Go to church. Go to church. Pull out your Bible and ask your pastor to, to explain this to you. What is what it's like? Is it childlike, or is it childish that that we are to be? And I guarantee you, anybody that got any understanding of the Bible would tell you that we got to be childlike in our spirit. We got to have a humble, loving spirit. You know, babies, they just we got to have a humble spirit like a child. We got to love like a child. Child loves unconditional. Child don't put no conditions on their love. And that's what he is talking about. So I want you to read that right quick. I want you to read that. Then I want you to go to church. I want you to go to church. And, and most churches have Bibles in there. Pick up your Bible. Go to Matthew. Matthew is the first of the Gospels. You go to Matthew. That's in the New Testament. The first of the Gospels. First book. Matthew. And, and look at the 18th chapter and go to verses 2 to 4. And see if we are not, if we are not correct. Uh, if we are not correct again, again from 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 Central Funeral Home and Williams Barber Shop and Brother Woody and all of us, the whole gang, we want to say a good a good morning to you and God bless you and we hope that God would keep you uh, to the Markey family and to the Pryor family and to Donald Brown and all others. We ask God to continue to bless you and most of all give you strength. We want you to now. We want you to go by. I want you to go by. Thank for this afternoon. Thank for this afternoon at 2 p.m. They're having their annual love day. Uh, Richard Thornton will be their pastor. I mean, who will be their guest preacher. Reverend Joe Glover is their pastor. I know Reverend Joe Glover don't want me to be giving thankful away to nobody else. And the next Sunday, we want you to go to Mount Level, my friend. Pastor Rick Butler and his family will greet you as they have their love day and they're, they're honoring Fraser Jones and Sister Betty Jones. They're honoring them. They're dedicating a building in them. Both of these programs at 2 o'clock. 
But in the meantime, I want you to call somebody and simply tell somebody to go to church. I want you to call somebody and tell somebody to go to church. Don't forget now, we're looking for sponsors now. We're looking for sponsors to, so that we can make a big success. We want we want this benefit for, for Mr. Woodley to be the biggest one they ever had in the city of follow. We want to make it successful. We want to make it successful. We want to say thank him and we want to help him. We want to help him. And so I need your help. I want all my listeners. Whatever you want to give is nothing too small, nothing definitely ain't nothing too large. But most of all, what I want you to do, I want you to go to church. I want you to make it a habit of going to church. And I want you to take somebody with you. Father God, we thank you for another day. We thank you for another chance to, to make our plea. And we pray now that, that, that it fell on, on good ground. We pray that some ears was open and some hearts was touched this morning as we did begin to share your word. Continue to use us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Green reminds all of us to go to church next Sunday. This program can be seen on Follow TV 99 on Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. It can also be viewed on YouTube at Follow TV 1 channel on Monday night. The next time you need a haircut, Think of the barber shop with a grand tradition, Williams Barber Shop. Williams Barber Shop, proud to serve the entire community of Ufala. Come by to our new location, new facilities, and see what it's like to be treated in style at Williams Barber Shop in the old J.C. Penney catalog store. There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services. Owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith, Licensed Funeral Director.